Girl, I feel like I need to go somewhere. Like, I'm about to get dressed and go somewhere real quick. Like, just real quick. It's kind of cold outside, but I'm going to go. Just because I just got my lashes done. And can't nobody tell me otherwise. Like, <laughs> 150 easily. Brown baller, take one. Action. What's up, my babies? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kay, and this is Crown Baller. First things. First, before we even get into this video, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's almost like, what are you doing? We're going into a new year, 2023, like, <laughs> try something new, and that's me. <laughs> yeah. Hit that red subscribe button down below, join our team, come sit in we would love to have you here. I'm all things basketball and beauty, and beauty and basketball. I share all things beauty on a budget, as we can tell from the title of this video, so just go ahead and click that button. Also turn on that post notification bell so you know when I post new videos, of course. And follow me on all of my social media. If they're not on the screen, they'll be in the description box below. And y'all know how this goes without any further ado. Let's get into this video. So as you can tell from the title, we're back with another last video. Y'all know I am like super just Batty on a budget, beauty on a budget, low maintenance things that we're doing at home. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of spending hundreds of dollars for lashes, fillings. I'm just tired of it. No offense to all the amazing estheticians. I can't afford y'all. <laughs> and I'm okay to say. So my last video specifically are for those who are just wanting to look good and on a budget. So for this video, I did want to share with you guys some new lashes that I have. These are the V Lux lashes in 30D. They are very voluminous as you guys can see, but on the back of the package, it kind of tells and explains what type of lash you're going to get. So it kind of has a little bit of shape to it, not too much, and it goes out and a little up versus a full like curl. Now these are clusters, so there's not like a knot at the end of them. I do have a couple videos where I'm using some where it comes down to a point, but these are clusters, so there's just like a little line with a bunch of lashes on them. I did purchase these at my local beauty supply store for $9.99, and I will try to link them down below in the description box. Make sure you guys check out my Amazon storefront so you can find all my lash essentials. Just wanted you guys to kind of see an up close version of what the lashes look like. And you guys can see they have a nice little curl on them. And the package says self lash extension application in 10 minutes. So we love quick, efficient, and right on times. So they're very full and dense, but they still have some see-through to them. And these lashes are also very soft. They're not mink lashes, but they're very soft. So... I'm pretty impressed by that. So if you guys are new to my channel, then you would know that I do not use professional lash glue. I've never really used professional lash glue. Plus it's literally a warning on there that you shouldn't use professional lash glue at home unless you are professional and you know what you're doing. That's not me. So we're gonna stick to what is in our parameters and that is the glue that I know. <laughs> so normally I would use the Ardell Lash Glue. It's a Lash Light Dark Adhesive. But if you watch my last video, I did try the IMV Mega Hold Individual Eyelash Glue. So I did like the way that um, this glue kind of worked. So I'm going to use this again instead of my Ardell to just see if my theory and hypothesis is correct that I do like this glue a little bit more. Don't tell Ardell though. So I did already wash my face and use a rose water toner to kind of, you know, cleanse my lashes. The cleaner your lashes are, I feel like the better that the, the lash will stick to the glue and the glue will stick to your lash. I just taped up this eye. It's not really very good, but it'll do for now. Just so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. Comb out these unruly hairs. I did put just a little dash of the glue on my little surface here. I'm just gonna take my pointy nose tweezers. I'm going to go at the bottom and try to keep it together and then lift them up like such. What I do like about these lashes is that Normally when I'm picking up like, for instance, an Ardell lash, I have to like take off the glue residue at the bottom. With these lashes, as soon as it lifts up off the tape, 
it's ready to use. So once I have my lash, I just kind of like to drag it a little bit. And you guys see that the glue kind of like strung out a little bit. That's just like a top layer of this glue because it's been sitting here getting tacky. So once we get under that, I like to just drag it, make sure the lash has enough glue, wipe off the excess, and then go in and apply it. I like to start on the outer corner. I know some people like to start in the middle, but me, I like to just start at the bottom and then press and lift the lash. And that's how she is. I'm gonna continue these steps and I'm gonna let you guys watch me work on this eye and then we're gonna come on back. Okay, babes, I hope y'all can hear me because this is literally my third time recording this voiceover and child. We're gonna pray about it. Anywho, I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through the steps of me um, applying these lashes. If this is your first time or you're very beginner with uh, lash extensions at home, no worries, I am here to help. So I'm just gonna give you guys a couple tricks and tips while I'm um, while you're watching me apply these lashes. So one of the things I will say, like starting off, like when you're pulling your lashes off with whatever tweezers you have, um, the first tweezers that I started off with were like the regular slanted tweezers. Um, I just feel like these pointed tweezers allow me to pick in like, um, control when I'm picking up the lash off the card easier. So that's why I have them. Um, anywho, so you wanna make sure that you are picking those lashes up very gently, okay? These are affordable lashes. These are not the best super top quality of these lashes. So we wanna make sure that we are preserving them at all costs. Next, you want to make sure that you get a glue that you like personally. Um, I'm using this IMB because this is like the second or third time I have used it and I like the long lasting that it gave me over the Ardell. Um, so you want to make sure that you choose whatever glue you're using and put it on a um, surface and let it get tacky. You don't want it to be too wet when you're applying lashes because when it's too wet, then the lashes are going to have a hard time staying. If you have a fan, that will definitely help. But holding a fan to the, your eye the whole time is not going to be a good thing for your eye. Okay. You're going to be crying tears the entire time you put no lashes. <laughs> but um, that's what I would suggest. And then you don't want to let the glue get too dry as well. So you kind of want to have like a medium, you know, um, kind of tackiness so that you still have some type of give. If the glue is too dry on the lash, it will not stick to your natural lash. So just remember that. Also remember when applying these lashes, you don't want to apply them on your water line. You want to make sure that these lashes are actually being attached to hair. Like it's not gonna stick to your skin. That's a for sure way to find out that the glue doesn't work, but it's never gonna work sticking to your skin. So also remember that. Um, so like I was saying, um, normally I would have like a dimension of lashes and give myself some type of a look, a cat eye, a doll eye, whatever, with my lashes that I, um, apply, but I don't have any different sizes. So I only have, you know, this one length of the 30D lashes. Um, so if you want to have that type of dimension, definitely, I would definitely suggest that you get um, some lashes where it's like shorts, mediums, longs, or it's like 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, all of that. So I would suggest that, but I honestly, this, this look is growing on me. It's very dramatic <laughs> and they're very long, but it's definitely the holidays are coming up. So it's definitely growing on me. Also, Ooh, I'm glad I'm looking at this. You want to make sure that you do not, when you're applying your lashes, you wanna leave a little bit of space in between. You don't wanna put your lashes like directly next to each other or on top of one another because when you start to lose these lashes, yes, we want them to last for a week up to two weeks, but when you start to lose these lashes and it's time for a fill-in, we don't want big, huge gaps in between because when you lost one lash, three have come with it just because they've been attached to it. Does that make sense? Like you want to make sure that there's space in between. So if one, 
falls off, only that one falls off and not the three or four that were attached to it. So when I go back around to see if I need to fill any gaps, I'm making sure that I follow along with that technique too. We just don't want them to touch. Here is how we looking. These are definitely super dramatic for me. Like not necessarily the density, but the length for sure. I normally go for like, you know, like a more natural look, a cat eye type of a look. Um, but I just want to bring you guys something different as well because not everybody likes the same thing as me. I did add a couple here and there where I've seen some um, spaces. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm getting irritated with... So I just kind of cut the the last lash that I did in the corner crease of my eye just a little bit to make it stop being as annoying. I may end up taking it off. It may end up falling off, child, but um, that's just a little trick you can do if the inner corner is just getting a little irritated or you feel it. It's just like a weird feeling for me. So I just wanted to make it a lot more comfortable. Like these are lash extensions that are going to attempt to make last a week to two weeks so we want to you know make them as comfortable as possible i'm gonna do my other eye and i'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it here is my finished look let me let you guys see these are definitely voluminous lashes so if you like a lot of volume and you like some full thickness and some length these are definitely the lashes that i would recommend for you if i had shorter lengths and i can kind of create my eye look i think that i would like them more but because it's just one long length straight across that's kind of like where i'm like girl this is a lot girl i feel like i need to go somewhere like I'm about to get dressed and go somewhere real quick like just real quick it's kind of cold outside but i'm gonna go just because I just got my lashes done and can't nobody tell me otherwise. Like <laughs> 150 easily. Um, but if you like these type of lashes, I would definitely recommend for you that they're super lightweight, which is another reason why I like, like I can barely tell that they're on my eye. The only reason I can tell that they're on my eye is because of this inner corner piece that's just like bothering me. I went ahead and did the same little cut on this side as well. Um, I did this one a little too much though. But we ain't gonna talk about it. We gonna pray about it, praise God. I don't know if y'all, notice my little friend over here but this is a friend i did not invite to my house ever i don't know why anyways moving on to seal my lashes in when i finish them not before they're all the way dry but just almost completely dry i like to go in with this little tool normally this tool is used for like lash strips to apply them but i like to use this to kind of just like press in my lashes um, all together so that we're all neat and uniform, baby. So that's the end of this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know any comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. If you like these lashes, definitely let me know if you've tried these lashes. Also leave me any suggestions of lashes and glues that you guys would like for me to try out. I did order a whole bunch of lashes off Amazon, y'all. So we want to get this lash thing on and pop it. Let's get it on and pop it. Okay, I'm a clown. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Follow me on my social medias and I will see you babes later. I love you so freaking much. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Give me a kiss. Mwah.